Hey, what's going on, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope you're doing well. Um, if you guys can type in the chat super quickly, um, if you guys uh, can see the video and hear the audio, let me know quickly um, if you if all that is going through. And also, if you're a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member, um, let me know if uh, you are or not. And also, where are you tuning in from? Type in the chat where you are tuning in from. Um, I also want to welcome our Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP members. And are there any new VIP members tuning in for the very first time? Uh, let me know. Just type in the chat. Uh, this is your time for the next 30 minutes or so. Uh, we're going to be talking about auto body, any of your you know questions that you got, um, all that type of stuff. Type them in the chat. We can take care of you, help you out, and get you through. Um, and also, um, I will be updating you on new projects that we got going very, very shortly. Um, actually ordering parts for my BMW project right now. And um, hopefully we get those parts soon. Hopefully we get those parts soon. So let me go to the uh, comments quickly here. All right, cool. Let me see YouTube. So let me go to the uh, comments quick. I think we're good on the audio, right, guys? Yes, sir. Audio is good. Audio is good. I'm a, I'm a VIP from Florida. Dan Squatsky. All good, loud and clear, VIP. What's up? What's up, guys? Russ, what's up? Uh, VIP Lifetime. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, what's going on? What's new? What kind of projects are you guys working on? Just started pouring here, but the sun came back out. It's always so weird uh, with the weather here, but it's beautiful. It's it's paradise, all right. It's paradise. Um, so hope everyone's doing well. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, 2 p.m. here in on Oahu, Hawaii, and uh, just chilling, um, getting a few things done, um, preparing for the van project, kind of thinking what color I really want to make it and then ordering parts on the BMW project. So if you guys want to see those things, they're actually right here outside the bus. <laughs> I'm in the bus uh, in my office. There's the BMW here. Got to order parts for that sucker, the whole front end and then the van, which is right over there uh, behind the bunny here. So that those are the two next projects, the van and the BMW. Uh, we might squeeze in another motorcycle project. A friend of mine just picked up two motorcycles and he's like, hey, Tony, paint one of my bikes. So I'm waiting for him on um, his ideas on what he wants to do with it. I think he got a Honda. He got a Honda something and then another Enduro might be a Kawasaki or whatever. But um, he's like he called me up yesterday. He's like, yo, Tony, paint, paint my bike. I'm like, all right, let me know what bike you want to paint first and uh, what color. So yeah, guys. Um, yeah, what's up? What's new? What's up? Is the audio still good? I got the fan on here and hopefully it's just not making some unnecessary noise for you guys. All right. So while we are here, I'm going to put a banner up. If you want to learn more, if this is your first time um, joining our live stream, if you want to learn more about auto body, um, you could basically subscribe to learn auto body VIP. Thanks, Dan right over here to get your free i'm sending out the wrong link right over here to get your free um auto body training and whatnot right over here this link here at learn auto body and paint um <clears throat> and uh and yeah and yeah guys we're just chilling so what's up any auto body questions you guys have that um, we need to answer Everything's great here. Harold Schwinn, what's up, Harold? Um, Suhab says, I need my own space. Living at my parents, can't do anything here. Yep, I get it. You got to get out, man. You got to get out of your comfort zone and get out. I'm not sure what your monetary side is. So, guys, listen to this. I've been, you know, I've been doing a lot of things outside of the auto body space. I mean, that's, it's, one of my biggest passions, auto body, 
um, and whatnot. But I've been putting a lot of time into investing um, because that's where my time is is better spent um, because I'm able to make a lot more money, you know, using money to make money than anything else at this point. Um, yes, I have a, a, a good amount of online businesses that give me revenue every single month, which is great. But I've been do, I've been doing very well with investing and I'm thinking of starting another YouTube channel instead of putting that type of content on here, which I think people are confused because they're watching my auto body videos and then they got, you know, talking about NFTs. It's just like a mismatch. So I'm actually thinking of creating another separate YouTube channel. Um, just on investing and, uh, you know, some of the stock plays, some of the crypto plays that I that I do, some of the research that I'm doing on, um, you know, crypto gaming and whatnot. And uh, what I'll do is I'll invite you guys to that new channel. And if you guys are interested, you want to subscribe to those and, and watch those videos, um, you could do so. How does that sound? OK, I'm thinking of doing that, creating a new channel because I just love I'm really passionate about that topic. And I can go on and on and talk about that. I just don't want to kind of mess up the narrative between auto body and customizing. Some of you guys on here only want to talk about that, you know, versus NFTs and crypto. You guys are like, what? What are you talking about? I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, so there's a big mismatch between those two different uh, markets. So. So, yeah. Um, anyway, what else is new? What else is new? Actually, I have to go to BMW. Uh, wholesale parts. What site was it that I was looking at? BMW wholesale parts. I need to order parts for my BMW. So that's what I'm going to be doing today after we get off. Um, Shiba Inu is going up. It is going up. Anybody that is not already in VIP now is the time. I think Tony has a great deal going on. Yeah, I forgot about that, guys. Uh, we actually have a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP sale going on right now. Um, and it's lifetime access for 67 bucks lifetime access you get all of the content and all new content that's going to be added um within the coming months and years so super super cool do i even have the link to that does anybody have the link to that <laughs> god i'm so unorganized when it comes to those things like <laughs> just check out just check out my emails if you're not getting those emails subscribe to to learn auto body and paint and we'll send you an email on the sale that's ending tomorrow actually the 26th. What's up, Arnold? What's up, Russ? Russ, what's new? What are you working on, man? Any new projects? I know you're always doing something. Uh, Arnold, too. Arnold's always doing something. What are you What are you guys painting now? Um, David says, this is an example, but if I had a two-door car with no dents, no body work needed, what will I sand the whole car with? Uh, so you basically want to scuff everything down with 400 grit um, ready for paint. And you could paint directly over clear coat. So you do not have to put a sealer on that. Actually, the clear coat is already a good foundation. Sanded clear coat is already a good foundation to put new base coat on top of um, either the same color or a different color, color change if you want to. So the BMW project that we got right there. We're going to be doing a touch up blend. So I'm going to be going into the front fender um, and blending into the front fender. And also we're going to be touching up the black bumper on the back. So uh, I'm just ordering parts. I'm going to order parts today after we get off. That's part of one of my to do lists today. Order the parts for the BMW. That'll take a couple of weeks to get in. Once we start getting the parts, I'll start filming, repairing it. And then um, and then, yeah, you guys will be able to see the whole project put together um, collision damage, everything done from home. Tony, did you see how DWAC skyrocketed? Uh, I'm not sure what project you're talking about. Which one is that? There's so many going on. I do. I probably missed the boat on that one. 
probably missed the boat on that one. Um, let me see if I can find you guys a link to the to the auto body sale. Let me see if I could find the link to the auto body sale for you guys. Um, let's see. Here, I have it right here, guys. I can actually send you the link right here. So go here, watch this special video from me, and then click the link below, which will take you to the sales page for uh, joining Learn Auto Body. And then you could figure out, you know, if you want to use PayPal or credit card to register. But just watch that special video to tell you more about what the offer is. Um, but just keep in mind, the offer is coming down in one day and three hours. So just keep that in mind. Here's here's the actual link to, to the page. Oh, my God. 365 hike in one day, two days ago. What is that, um, Arnold? Is that is that a coin or is it an NFT? DWAC. Did you get in? Digital World Acquisition Corp. Is that what you're talking about? Six months? Yeah, wow. Digital World Acquisition Corp. <coughs> wow. Almost choked on that one. Um, Arnold. Let me ask you an important question. Did you get a piece of the pie? <clears throat> Did you make any gains on it? I'm actually devoting a lot of my time, Arnold, to uh, crypto and NFTs and, and uh, trading bots and things like that. I'm not, I'm not really playing much stocks. I do have money in stocks, but um, I'm not playing stocks. I mean, I, I got Riot shares. I got... Coinbase, I'm up a big time on Coinbase because I bought back in at 200 and something. Arnold, seems like you're doing very well. Next time, you, you better text me. <laughs> do you do a lot of crypto, Arnold, or no? Crypto trading? I'm, I'm doing more. I'm playing more with crypto because the gains are just so much better than uh, than traditional stocks. <clears throat> that was Trump's social media. Wow. Pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. I guess uh, I guess there's no auto body questions. People are here just to hang out. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm happy just hanging out with you guys. But, you know, just so you guys know. This live time is really for auto body Q&A. For all you newbies tuning in, <clears throat> auto body Q&A. What's up, Amy Reed? Um, so here we go. Amy has a little question here. Um, I got a 2005 Corolla. Uh, the paint is messed up real thin. What number sandpaper to use? Uh, so if the paint is messed up, like you're getting bubbling or fading or oxidation, you know, you're clear coat peeling. You probably want to use, uh, you know, anywhere from 280. Uh, 280 grit, uh, depending, you know, on how it looks. You might, if it's really bad, you might just want to use a 150 grit to just take it all off. And then um, you could follow up with a, a 2K filler primer on top of that and then cut it flat with uh, a 320, 360 followed by hand wash or, or wet sand with 400 grit and you're good to go. <clears throat> Thanks, Arnold. Mainly crypto for me. Yeah, me too. I've been, I've been uh, playing with crypto a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and I'm really excited. Actually, I'm doing more of that than anything else in my life at this point. Playing with a lot of crypto, um, trading, investing, you know, using money to make money. Um, you know, and, and, and again, doing my auto body projects on the side, which is, um, what I love, you know, what I, it's, I, I love to do it. Um, it's just that, uh, 
I'm also working on building this property here. So I've been putting a lot of time in building the property up. We're building some raised bed gardens and all and paint peels on hood. Okay. Yeah. So Amy, another thing you could do is send me a, a video or a couple of images, good images um, to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, send them over. And then what I could do is if you give me good enough videos and, and or images, I can make a video reply to you and be like, hey, you know, this is what you should be doing, yada, yada, yada. And I do that for VIPs as priority. But then if you're not a VIP, I'll still do it for you to help you out um, because I just like making content and replying back and things like that. So you could just send an email over to Tony at learnautobodypaint.com. And um, if you send me some images and uh, a 30 second video like, hey, Tony, you know, upload it to YouTube, you know, tag it, learn auto body question, you know, to Tony, Tony Ritchie or whatever, um, whatever. Harold, I had a foreign object fall into my clear coat like a leaf. How do I fix it? Is this I'm assuming it fell in while you were clear coating or whatever. Um, the only way to fix it is to basically take it out as best as you can with some tweezers or your, your nails or whatever. I used to grow my pinkies to, to take them out um, and then flood it with a little extra clear coat and then color sand and buff it. If it's really bad and it, it really screwed it up, you might have to repaint the you might have to repaint it. it. It depends on how. But the main thing is to flood it with clear coat a good couple of you know times after you take it out because there's going to be an indention of clear that you need to fill up um and then most times you know if it's not that bad you could just cut it and buff it after you fill it you know give it a, you know let it sit for two three days let it cure good then cut it and buff it you know block it out and buff it out Yeah, pretty cool, Arnold. Seems like you're doing a lot of uh, a lot of those little stock trades and, and all that. I'm happy for you. Um, yeah. What time is it? Two nineteen. We got about eleven minutes, guys. Hanging out for another eleven minutes. Let me know what you're doing. Any auto body questions, newbies? Tune in. What's up? Um, I actually been getting a couple of emails the past few weeks of people saying, "Hey, Tony, I, I want to join your live streams, but the timing is so bad for me." Can you change it? And I got like four or five emails over the past two weeks or so. And that's a lot, you know, because they say for every one email you get with a concern, there's actually an average of 12 or 13 more people thinking the same thing. They just don't email in. It's just a statistic. So there's probably a lot more people who, you know, who are thinking the same thing, but they just uh, they just don't email in. So I'm thinking of I'm thinking of doing these at a different time zone or maybe adding another one during the week at a different totally different time zone. You know, maybe early in my morning, which is going to be midday uh, Eastern. So if I did it at 8 a.m., it'll be like 2, 2 p.m. Eastern, just a different time zone for people to get on. You know, um, Bitcoin is doing great. Um, Bitcoin and a lot of other coins are doing great, actually. Um Ethereum's doing great. Solana's doing great. A lot of them are doing great. So, um, uh, new bumper prep sand ad adhesion promoter primer and paint sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> um, if you're doing a, a cheap job that you want to just bang out. And not worry about primer, uh, Arnold. You could you could skip the uh, pr um, you could skip the primer. You could go straight sand adhesion promoter and paint. You could paint right on top of adhesion promoter, especially if you're doing like a single stage, guys, uh, because the paint is so thick. You could paint um, you could paint single stage right on top of adhesion promoter over raw plastic. You know, and it'll last. It'll last a good few years. You know, just giving you guys some hacks. I know I know everybody likes hacks, but um, there's so many ways to do it, you know.
Maybe Shiba and maybe Doge looking. Yeah, I've been playing with Elon coin. I've been doing very well with Elon. E-L-O-N. It's basically Dogelon. They're calling it Dogelon. It's it's I think it's a it's a meme coin from Shiba. So can I do the leaf spot down to bare metal or do I have to do the whole hood? Um, you don't have to go down to bare metal. Just take out where it was damaged. You know what I mean? Because if you're if you're clear coating and the leaf fell on it, you don't have to go down to metal to cut it. You just cut it to where you take out the the texture from the dam you know damaged texture. You don't have to go to metal, um, and you don't have to go to metal on the whole hood either. That's just that's crazy. All right, guys, so I'm going to pop some links in here um, for all you newbies just tuning in. If you want to learn more about auto body, um, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right over here and uh, grab your free auto body training. Um, if you're interested in joining Learn Auto Body VIP, we're doing a sale until tomorrow at an incredible deal, which we're not going to be doing for a very long time. I don't plan on releasing Learn Auto Body VIP for 67 anytime soon. So if you want to get in with no recurring, no annual recurring, no monthly recurring, um, this is your chance to get in at one low price and have a library of auto body um, you know, step-by-step -step tutorials that'll help you through. Uh, Russ says, lately I've been working on the house, garage, and carport. Last thing I painted was walk-in garage door, white pearl outside, re red flake inside. Super cool. That's actually really cool. I got a 2008 Ford F-150, pressure washed it, took off some of the pinstripe. How to remove the rest of the pinstripe without hurting the paint. Also, thank you for your wisdom and knowledge and time. No problem. So um, a lot of times pinstripe, uh, if it's vinyl pinstripe, it peel it could you could just peel it right off without hurting the paint because it's really not a strong decal. So you shouldn't. Re it would it. No, Ninety percent of the time, you're not going to hurt the paint by peeling it off. Okay. What can help is get a hair dryer or a, uh, a hair dryer will do will do. Okay. But you could use a proper heat gun if you have it. But I think it's it's it, those get really hot. Hair dryer, put it on high. Go against your decal, you know, in a motion like this. We have videos on VIP that show you how to do that as well. Um, heat up the decal a little bit. You just want to make the panel warm. You know, go like, you know, an 18-inch span at a time. You know, just, just enough to where your shoulder width, okay, where you could just heat up the panel, get it warm, and then peel off the decal. Should be really easy. Um, if you have any glue remaining on the vehicle... Uh, you could just let that dry. A lot of times it'll just rub off with your fingers. You know, you just keep rubbing it with your hand. If that doesn't work, you can just use some auto paint reducer, put it on a rag and just wipe. It comes right off. Um, you could mess with products like Goo Gone and whatnot, but that stuff, it just, it just makes it worse. I think it doesn't work the best. Um, a reducer is a lot better. You could even use lacquer thinner, you know, but just don't leave it in one section so long. Lacquer thinner will take it off right away. Okay. Um, it might leave a little haze on your paint job um, and you might have to buff it. So you just be careful if you're using lacquer thinner. I would use a, uh, any kind of base coat or clear coat reducer. Okay. It's not as strong as a lacquer thinner and um, it'll be able to take off the glue um, on your, your paint. No problem. Hopefully that helps. Uh, Russ, why are you struggling? What's up? Ken Jams. What's up, Ken Jams? How you doing? <clears throat> struggling how? How can how can we all do, you know, have less struggling? I'm struggling too. I'm not struggling in certain ways, but I'm struggling in other ways. I think everybody struggles, you know, at a certain thing in their life, 
you know, it's just how do we deal with it? Um, me, I'm always, I don't want to say I'm struggling, but you know, we're dealing with my, my, you know, my alley girl. It's very, it's not easy taking care of a, a disabled special needs seven year old, you know, turning eight year old girl who, you know, but, um, we're getting through it. We, we hire, we, we have a nanny who comes in three times a week and helps us, which is, which is very helpful you know, and we're, we're making it work. So we're, I think we all go through our own little things. It's just, it is what it is, you know, um, Ken jams. I have a Camaro hood that has some bubbling came up from, I assume the primer, some problem with the primer. Do I need to send that down to the metal and make sure it doesn't come back? Yes, absolutely. So if your paint is bubbling like that and you want to start fresh, it's, it's a good idea to take it down to metal. Um, I would put some etching primer on top of that. No, my bad, an epoxy primer on top of that, and then uh, followed by a 2K filler primer on top of that. And we have we have step-by-step um, -step videos in VIP that show you how to do that as well. So if you're a VIP, just log in uh, and check that stuff out. Um, hey, Tony, auto body question. I have a 1973 Mach 1. Wow. Uh, original single stage paint that's very dull. Uh, I took it to a professional detailer, said, said little material. Can I clear coat over it, then buff it? Um, you know, if you have such an old car with original paint like that, um, I definitely wouldn't clear coat it, you know, because the paint is so old. I would just sand it and buff it. Why don't you just 2000 it, you know, take off the oxidation, the grime, the dirt, um, you know, you might want to, if you're going to sand it, I don't think you have to clay bar it. Um, but if you're not going to sand it, clay bar it first and then buff it. But I would sand it to take off the grime. Okay. Clay bar is going to take off the grime too. But if you sand it, you're going to get more of the grime. You're going to do a better job. You know, do like Daniel son and the karate kid, you know, get, um, some 2000 grit and just go in circles and just kind of sand. You could go straight, straight circle in some areas, you know, just wash it down um, with 2000 grit. You could even go 1500 grit, wash it all down and then buff it out. I would do that. Um, I wouldn't clear coat it. Like if, if you're thinking of clear coating, I would just prep it and paint it. Just put some fresh paint on it. You know, if you're going to go that far, um, you might as well put, get it prepped up, put some good clear coat, um, base coat and clear coat on it. Simple green or remove it, but take, save for your paint, struggling, prayer. Thanks so much. Great advice. You're welcome. House of Color Pearl Base Coat, dried, weak, lost time to clear. Um, dried, dried, weak, what? Lost time to clear. So if that happens, I would wash your project down with 400 grit, put some fresh coat of uh, base on it one more time, then clear coat it. What's up? What's up? How you doing? What's up? Jeff Lewis says, can you do two coats from the same cup or will the paint start to harden in the cup and gun during flash times? No, flash times, you're good. I mean, your paint will be good for a couple of hours in your cup and while you're painting. Okay, paint doesn't dry that quick. All right, so you're good to go. You could do multiple coats. Jeff Lewis, are you a VIP? I have a feeling you'll learn auto body VIP, dude. Go through our VIP trainings, man. We show you how to paint the car A to Z. We talk about all of that and more. Uh, there's the link, guys, to get free auto body training. Um, and again, we're doing a special Learn Auto Body VIP sale. Check out this page. Seriously, look at all the courses, everything that you're getting on that page for a one-time small investment of just $67. Bucks. Um, I've never released it at this price point since 2010 when we launched Learn Auto Body VIP and it only had like 15 hours of training in it. Now there's over 200 hours. And I say 200 hours because it's a lot more than that. I like to under promise and over deliver. So there's a lot, there's actually more than 200 hours of course trainings in VIP. Um, and we're gonna be adding more as well. Um, and one last thing, guys, if you guys are looking for awesome spray guns, don't forget about our partners um, at Zula.com. 
you can get the same exact spray guns that I use every time I spray cars or projects. Uh, this is the Atom X27. Great all-around gun uh, for DIY and professional use in all guns at Zula. All Atom X spray guns come with the Gun Bud Ultra Lighting System, which helps light things up as you paint. And it's a awesome tool. Awesome tool. Um, number one seller on Amazon in automotive paint accessories. It's a it's a very, very good product. So check that out. Um, what's up, Mike from Michigan? Question, how do you know if a color is blendable, is a blendable match spray out card? Uh, yes, spray out card as well. Um, and also how it was mixed. So if your paint um, rep mixed it using the machine, okay, and or you gave them a piece of your panel to, to mix, you're going to get a pretty good color match. But the other key is actually to blend it into the adjacent panel. If you really want to do a, a blend where you cannot tell, okay, a lot of it is tricking the eye. So instead of ending a panel right on your bumper to fender, you're going to have to prep your bumper, your fender, and blend your bumper into the fender. That's the way to do it. And actually, we're going to be doing that whole thing, uh, blending and all that on this BMW project that you see right outside over there. Okay, so like we have our, our bumper cover. And it's going to have to blend into the fender right around there. Okay. We're going to be doing the black hood again as well. Um, and then just touching up the whole front and then painting um, a piece in the back. So all of that will be step-by-step um, -step, uh, video tutorials for you guys in VIP. We're also going to release uh, some of it on YouTube um, as well. So, so yeah, as long as you got a pretty good, decent color match, and look, if you're not concerned about a little shade difference, then you could just paint a panel and not even blend into it. You know what I mean? It, it really depends on how picky you're going to be or how picky your customer is going to be. That's what it comes down to. But guys, also keep in mind that a lot of cars that are manufactured and put together on the assembly line, the body panels are painted separately from the bumper covers. So, you know, the front and rear bumper cover, if you notice a lot of new cars don't even match because they're painted in different facilities. Like my brand new Tesla, you can easily see that the front bumper doesn't even blend in to the front, to the fender and hood. It's, it's that bad. Like for us auto body guys, you guys, people on here would probably know, but the ordinary average person probably won't bother to really look at it. But there is a color difference on my brand new car. And probably a lot of you guys noticed that on your vehicles as well. You know, they're painted in different paint booths, different paint, you know, same color code, but a different batch of paint. And then they put them on like this BMW. I already noticed it was its original, never painted before. The front bumper and rear bumper was always color. It was a discoloration. And this chicken always comes in my bus. So keep that in mind. OK, a little mismatch is not a huge deal unless you're going for show custom custom jobs. You know, if you're doing a custom 67 Chevelle or whatever, you want to make sure that thing looks good. You know, uh, uh, you're working on a BMW or a tuner with a body kit or whatever. You're going to want to make sure all of that's blended in and it looks good. Right. So. Just keep that in mind. Any other questions, guys? Any other auto body and paint questions? Um, it looks like Arnold um, replied to Jesus. Thank you, Arnold, for that. Um, how you doing? How's everybody else doing, like, on a personal level? How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good or what? Just want to make sure everyone's doing good. You guys staying healthy? Um, again, we're going through some crazy times right now. Who knows where it's going to end? Um, I kind of have an idea where it's going to end on the on the on the on the negative side, but let's not. You know, we have to pray for the best and you know prepare for the worst and, and pray for the best. You know, hope for the best. But um, I think we need to be very very strong physically, mentally, and like me, like I want to start working out again. Like I, I used to work, I haven't been working out, but I've been eating good. Um, every morning, my wife's been making this ginger and turmeric smoothie. 
it's like so good. It's it burns your throat because it's like you know the ginger, but it's so good. I'm addicted to them. I hate my job. Yeah, you know, a lot of people hate their jobs. Um, but I think there's so much opportunity now to make money on your own, guys. This is why I want to start my new channel um, that talks about investing. You know, you could there's ways to make money with money right now. And it's just crazy um, how much opportunity there is right now if you guys focus in the right directions. You know, a lot of you guys need to stop thinking about working for money. You need to build your own, you know, multiple streams of income. So, um, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get free auto body training right over here. And I also send periodic, you know, off the cuff, totally not related emails about auto body. Uh, to my list sometimes. And if you guys care and you want to learn more and you want to check out other opportunities, feel free to subscribe to the other things that I send you because I don't like to constantly, you know, bombard non auto body content to my auto body um, audience. But um, like I said, I'm also thinking of opening up a new YouTube channel that strictly talks about investing, you know, cryptocurrency, the metaverse, decentralized finance all that type of stuff that I you, I normally spend hours on every single day, educating myself, um, putting money in, making money, doing trades. And, you know, this is what I do literally from like nine to nine to one or 2 a.m. every pretty much f at least five, five nights a week. You know, I put in a lot of time. Um, I totally agree. Um, auto body is excellent um for therapy and anxiety like like working on cars you know or working on anything you know people we need to have that creative release you know so for me it's always been cars you know i love tinkering i just i could spend hours working on a car and a lot of times i like to work on my cars without even filming any content because you know to make a youtube video like you got to set up the camera you can't really relax you know every little cut every little thing you got to move your camera. You got to stop. You got to, it kind of messes up your flow. So a lot of times when I'm working on like mechanical stuff, I don't record anything because I don't even want to make videos on mechanical. There's already YouTube channels on it. Like I just like to nerd out and like do my mechanical stuff for me, just for me. You know, nobody has to know, nobody has to watch. I just do it because I like to do it and I'm doing it, you know? And the same goes with auto body. You know, I don't like to always record everything, but I feel like I have to because this is what I'm serving you guys, you know? So I do it for the auto body. Um, I already um, started recording the BMW project as far as um, dismantling, taking everything apart properly and whatnot. But um, but yeah. God is a healer. Put your trust in him. Awesome. I have an opportunity to work in a body shop, but I'm not sure what I should be paid panel beater or as a painter. Mike, I would say, you know, get in first. Hopefully your boss or whoever's running the, the company is cool. I would say get in. Work, have a good work ethic and just see where your feelings pull you, you know, do you want to do the panel beating or do you want to gravitate toward painting? I wouldn't be totally concerned about the pay at first, you know, just, just go to where you feel you're going to be happy. And then as long as you do good work there, and as long as your boss gives you opportunities to, to do that, because sometimes they lock you in at a certain position and they don't let you do anything else. You know what I mean? So I would say start, Start where you can, give it your all, um, and then see where you go from there, you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your name, by the way? I forgot your name, man. Sorry. It's just, can't keep track of everybody. Pausel. 
Um, yes, I show I show masking examples in VIP as well. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of going back and reading some comments here. I'm still here. I just missed a lot of uh, questions because of just talking so much. Mine matches pretty good. Hey, Tony, I'm just going to go back a little bit, guys. Dude, I'm not ripped at all. I'm like, I'm not even in good shape right now. <laughs> Um, have a second gen forerunner. The clear coat on the hood isn't cracking or peeling, but it's hazy. Original paint looks great and it looks great. Can that haze buff out? I don't want to burn through the clear coat. Yes, you could really, you could definitely try buffing it out. Definitely try. Um, I would use a yellow pad, yellow wool pad. It's finer. Um, you could use a 3M Perfect It or Arnold was recommending a CS2. I haven't got to the color sanding and buffing stages on my project yet. But once I do, I will definitely pick up that product and try it out. So, yeah, but definitely I would buff before anything. And, and Jim, we have buffing videos, um, buffing single stage, buffing base coat, clear coat videos in VIP step by step. So just check those videos out, man. I guide you super easily. Just check out those videos. It's all there. All the info is there. Uh, and it takes you through the process. Alex Bauer, painting dark metallic over primer spots. Should I cover the primer 100% before laying the first coat? Absolutely. So if you have primer spots, bodywork primer spots um, around the car before you paint, definitely get your base coat and hit those spots before you go even coats around the whole car. And I show you how to do this in VIP as well. We talk about it it's extensively. All right. Hey, Amy, prayers going out to you. Prayers going out. Um, just keep the faith. And I think if you haven't already, now is the time to change your diet change what you're you're focused on daily and eliminate the negativity as much as you can you know bring in the positive vibes and um talk to yourself release the tension maybe start taking walks i don't know if you live near the water but maybe go to the beach um, and eating healthy and just start to do that. And I think everybody should be doing that, whether you're sick or not. You know, we need to, I think that's actually a good way to avoid getting sick is to eat good and just be healthy. You know, I, I have a problem. I have an addiction with coffee. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to cut down on alcohol. I'm not a big alcohol drinker, but I'll have a beer every now and then, you know, I, I kind of want to eliminate that hundred percent, but it's, you know, it gets hot. And sometimes I feel like drinking a beer or two, it just tastes good. But, um, yeah. So our prayers are going out to you, Amy, keep us posted and, uh, keep tuning in. All right. Kind of scrolling down here. Ever have clear coat run cloudy? Yes, I have. And I think when that happens, I think it's like, it could be like a bad clear, you know, a cheap clear does that. I haven't really gotten to the bottom of why that actually happens or your gun malfunctioning and adding a lot of air bubbles in it. Cause sometimes you can get 
clear coat or sometimes if you're spraying if you're atomizing so high and you're spraying so close to the panel that it'll incorporate that atomized air into your clear coat so most times it's messed up clear coat cheap clear coat that gives you the cloudiness or air in your clear coat that gives you the cloudiness so the only way around that is to let it dry sand it flat and then repaint it Yes, um, vitamin C, vitamins, yes, elderberry and zinc, yes. Tony, two pots of coffee a day. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink two pots, but I'll have a good, a good, you know, maybe three, four cups. I don't know how many ounces this is. It's probably more than 16. Probably, yeah, let's just say six, 16. This is my second cup, which is not bad for 2 p.m. here. And then I'll have one at night sometimes. If I work late, I'll have a cup. I'll have a big cup of coffee at night. Yeah, juicing is huge. Juicing is huge. Juicing is huge. So, guys, what do you think about um, lightweight? <laughs> oh, Russ, you're hilarious. <clears throat> what do you think about um, me putting on another channel, guys, that, that strictly talks about investing, wealth creation, you know, entrepreneurship? I kind of wanted to weave that into this channel, but I think people, they're not, you know, it, the content is so 180, it's not fitting, you know? So I think I'm just going to continue the auto body talks the auto body painting and, and those types of videos on here. And then we'll do another channel that's strictly cryptocurrency investing mindset stuff and, and all that on another channel. Would you guys subscribe to that? Would, would some of you guys subscribe to that? If yes, let me know. Cause I'll, I'm, I'm thinking of creating a channel this week and just sending you guys to it. And then you guys can subscribe. And when I put new videos up there, it'll be there, you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever. Not a huge deal. Just just been thinking about it the past week, and um, I'm thinking of doing it. Just having a separate channel for that type of stuff. Um, that would be cool, Tony. Don't make it like. Don't make it like the other ones you have to make it unique. Yes, on the channel. Yeah, I'll do a separate channel. Yep, yep. Okay, cool, guys. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you. Um, unique, unique, like what? Unique like what? I think I think I just have to be unique and just really be me. You know, like I am me now, but like, I don't know. Just like really be me, you know, because I guess I guess I can talk about that stuff a lot more openly if it's a dedicated channel. Like here, I don't want to get too deep into it. Follow me to the moon. Well, you know what? I, there's a lot of people ahead of me when it comes to that, but I will tell you that I do a lot of research pretty much every day um, in that industry, in the crypto and investing industry. So I think I know a lot more than the average Joe, and I think I'm doing better than the average Joe. So why not talk about it, you know, and why not put it out there? <clears throat> I think someone should get on get onto the automakers about putting such cheap paint on vehicles. Yeah, so I guys, I'd like to get on um another call with you like on a personal level. Maybe we could do like a little bit more personal level calls on the other channel, not here, you know. We'll keep this one to auto body, the other one we could kind of get into more personal stuff um because you know we're all going through our thing you know we're all going through our thing guys it's not just you i mean look at this we're i'm on almost 50 minutes today and like what is it all about what are we doing all of this for you know it's it's to it's the pursuit of happiness and also to provide for our families right 
I mean, what else is there? Look in the image, all these little things I stuck stick on my fridge. You know, it's just it's family, right? So um, and and I feel that you guys here are family too, you know. And I'm happy you guys come and hang out. <sighs> Sorry, it keeps you guys in business. Well, it doesn't keep me in business because I don't do customer jobs. I stopped doing that 10 years ago. I mean, I will do friends projects. You know, I wouldn't call them a customer, but my friends pay me to do their projects. I'll do it. You know, I'll do a lot of my own projects, but I don't do it as a job. I don't, I don't, you know, I stopped doing auto body as a job in, when I was 25, you know, many years ago. You bald, Tony? Well, I shaved my head. I'm not naturally bald. Thank God. But I, my wife was going to cut my hair a few last week and I was like, uh, I didn't want to waste her time. She was busy. I was like, I'll just buzz my head. Having you makes our our day good too. Thank you, man. But every vehicle I pass is peeling, new or old. <laughs> this is therapy. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, it was really nice hanging out with you guys today. Only 21 people on, but who cares? I don't care as long as we touch base with a few key people in here, a lot of you, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. This time is, this time is, uh, is for you guys. I put this time out here for you guys every Monday. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should do it twice a week, but maybe I'll hold off until we start really banging out on these auto body projects. I actually got to take off this bumper support now and I got to order BMW parts now. Um, Maybe I'll make a video on that. Arnold, do you know a good online wholesale uh, for auto BMW parts? Because I know you're into BMWs. I've been looking at BMWpartswholesale.com. There's a couple other ones. Just trying to beat the local prices here. I know I'm, I might get hammered on shipping, but I got to do the research now. Check it out. Type in my address. See, see what they're going to charge me with shipping. But I need to order a few key parts uh, for this BMW literally today. I ordered some epoxy because I have to repair some headlights and epoxy some headlights. I'm going to make videos on that, guys, as well, so you guys can see how to salvage cracked parts. Um, we, we got a pretty good payout on the BMW. Um, I ended up getting close to $9,000 for the damage. Not bad. Um, after, after, my, uh, after my body shop friend Tony submitted a supplement... They wanted to give me $2,300 for the damage. I'm like, what? I took it apart, took a bunch of pictures, showed all the damage, and we ended up getting an extra 66 so close to $9,000. Um, hope I'm, I'm guesstimating it'll probably only cost me about four grand in, uh, in parts and paint minus labor for me to repair. Maybe less. Maybe less. I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly. Um, let's go to it right now, actually. Hopefully the internet doesn't cut out. I hope it's not that far. Um, hopefully less. And then um, we'll be able to pocket the rest of the money. You know? Four grand. Give or take. So here it is here. Um, we need a front bumper support. Um, you can see that part of the frame was kind of damaged here, so I might have to get a sledgehammer. I don't know. I have to measure the frame to see if it was pushed up or not. I haven't got to that point yet, but I need to get it level in my garage or maybe even on a frame rack just to confirm um, over at my friend's shop. So those all those steps will be in VIP. Um, we're going to be putting more videos out um, on the Grom, like little pieces that we were working on on YouTube as well. So you guys are going to get that. 
Yeah, insurance, they tried to really stick it to me, but I ended up getting close to 9,089 and change, which is good. So be nice. I can get the job fixed for like four grand, 45, and then I get to pocket the rest, you know, put it in crypto or whatever. Here's the Chevelle guys. Um, Chevelle, I've been really looking at it hard. I really want to paint it. Um, we're probably going to keep it the original butternut yellow, but then I want to put some sort of flake in it, you know, like maybe some gold pearl in it or something since we're going to custom paint it. Hey, Amy, 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 thanks for tuning in. Good luck to you. Keep us posted and I'll see you on the future calls. Um, yeah, I, I really want to get this sucker um, painted soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. We were on pretty much an hour. Allie's screaming. Yeah. So I'm going to head out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff Lewis, all the way from the Virgin Islands. Hit the like button, guys, if you haven't yet. And I'm just going to drop a couple links before I leave again. Um, one to VIP right here. Um, if you want to learn more about auto body, get some free training right there. Um, and then um, if you guys are looking for great spray guns, check out Zula.com. I highly recommend the X27, X88 for professional painting. Um, you could even take a look at the X20. Um for more of a DIY spray gun. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll see you next week. Um, keep your eyes open later this week for a new YouTube video on the Grom Project. Um, and um, I'll be in touch. Peace out. Talk to you soon. Um, have a good evening, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.